Hey guys, Alley Entertainment, and guess what day of the week it is? It is my weekly e-blog, and I'm sorry you guys, I've been kind of MIA the last two weeks. I, I'm i just tired and beat, and I don't know, I'm not doing anything extremely that's making me tired or beat, I just, I don't know, I feel drained. Anyway, let's get down to it. There is a lot of stuff happening in the media. Uh, this week, especially the last couple of days, there's some new stories that have um, caught my interest. First things first, you guys. Uh, you guys know who Julianne Huff is? She was a dancer off Dancing with the Stars, and she's also been in a few movies. She is finally engaged to a hockey player, Brooke Larch. I'm not too sure which team he plays for, but if you are a hockey fan, I'm sure you probably know. And also, it's been in the news here the last few days that Rosie O'Donnell's daughter, uh, Chelsea, went missing. I guess today they finally found her. Um, so she's 17. Apparently, she ran off with alleged heroin addict who was 26 years old. Um, but she's home safe and sound. And Rosie O'Donnell is just thankful to have her back in her life. And in other news... There have been reports that Brian Austin Green and Megan Fox are splitting up. Now, I don't think it's been completely confirmed, but apparently someone is saying that the um, reason for the divorce is Megan Fox cares more about her career than she does about her family. I mean, yeah, you know, she's, she's hot. She's doing pretty good with these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I have a feeling after this franchise, she is going to be in demand. So, I can kind of see that. But, uh, I, I don't know, you guys. I was, I know there's a big age difference. But, I was really hoping that they would be working out. Because, honestly, they're kind of cute together. Um, and on the other news, last week, Kylie Jenner finally turned 18. And she's slashing tons and tons of... Hot bikini pictures, so everybody's just like, now they don't have to feel bad for thinking she's hot because now she's illegal. <laughs> whoop whoop. I don't really care much about the Kardashians or the Jenners or anything like that, but whatever. Um, another news, you guys Shannon Doherty just announced today that she has breast cancer and she's probably going to have to have a vasectomy and um, chemotherapy. Apparently, she didn't have insurance for a whole year, and it was supposed to be her manager's fault because he didn't pay her health insurance, and it got canceled. And so apparently now, she went to the doctor, and they found that it has progressed and said that it was probably there for a few years. And so she's suing the former manager, um... Because now she has to do more invasive cancer treatment, uh, which probably could have been, you know, what you call it, what you call it, what you call it. Anyway, would have probably not have been that bad if they caught it earlier. But she didn't have any health care. So anyway, um, my heart goes out to her. I hope everything goes well with her breast cancer. I myself. Had not have breast cancer, but I have had family members that have cancer, and I, it's hard on the person and hard on everybody else around them. And in other news, you guys, I follow the Duggard family, and now apparently Josh Duggard is back in the news. Um, you guys probably heard before about him molesting his sisters. Now apparently there has been a hack on a website called. Ashley Madison. So apparently, Josh Duggard reportedly had two accounts with this Ashley Madison. And if you guys don't know what Ashley Madison, apparently it's a hookup site for married men and women to have affairs. And apparently, he's been on it for two years. And they're saying that it that it's him. I I don't know if it is him. I'm sure in the next few days, there's probably going to be a couple statements coming out from him. But, uh, I just, I just wish people would just leave him alone. He's just, I don't know, what he does is his own business. The, the molestation thing, 
is bad, but what he does in his own time is his own business. Um, so I guess we're also going to see in this Ashley Madison huge hack, apparently there's more celebrities' names that are probably going to be announced in the coming weeks. So uh, stay tuned for that. I don't know. Nobody's business, but you know what? For some odd reason, people like to know. And people pry in other people's lives. Like, I, I don't know. I follow celebrities, I guess. I, I guess. I mean, I don't need to know about their personal life, but, you know, it's interesting. It's news. It's entertaining. But sometimes they should they should just know when to give up. Um, in other news, you guys, I've seen some movies. You can see my movie review on, um, my latest movie reviews on Ant-Man and Vacation. And I also just seen the Fantastic Four, so a new re movie review is going to be up on that. And right now, I'm addicted to The Secret Life of American Teenager on Netflix, already into season three. So I'm halfway there. I don't know why. I just started watching something and I just can't stop. Um, anyway, you guys, that's about it for me tonight. I don't want to blab on, blab on for, for hours. I probably could, but I'll probably blab on about nothing. Absolutely nothing. Anyway, you guys, I hope you have a great night and don't forget to like and subscribe and chat and do all that and share. Um, I love hearing from you guys. So you guys have yourself a great night.